Hi, it's Karen. And Tim. From Stamping on the Back Porch. Welcome to another edition of our Thursday Facebook Live. Today we're going to be doing a bunch of different techniques using the Rooted with Nature stamp set. It's just been a really popular set. While I'm waiting for Tim, you know, Tim's still got three more birthday cards to open. We have an anniversary card and I received a gift. I don't know how I, I thought it was a, a back order from <laughs> something that, <laughs> from Stampin' Up! And I had set it aside and I, here was a gift. I thought it was some paper or something. So how fun is that? Oh, hi, Tammy and Mickey. Great to see you. This will be so fun. Oh yes, it's really warm here. So I'm pretty much trying to stay indoors. Except we have a leaders get together, uh, Stampin' Up leaders here in um, the Twin Cities tonight. So I will go out for that. That's so fun. We just get together and we share ideas and it's just, and we do a shoebox swap and it's lots of fun. So, you know, I never want to run out of card swaps to share with you guys. <laughs> Hi, Karen, Cindy, Terry, <laughs> Diane. Yeah. This weather, I just think it's been really hot all over. So if anyone comes on from Seattle, I want to know what it's like there because we're heading there on Monday and it's not going to get what I would consider reasonable here until after we leave. So I'm hoping it'll be nice there. Hi, Jennifer, Kim, Cindy. So next week, we will come to you from Seattle. That's right. So the stamp set from last week, and I will put this in the show notes afterwards. The winner of this is Reba Richardson. So Reba, if you are on or see your name, I need you to email or to just message me your address and I'll send it to you. Another alliteration. Timothy Titus, Reba Richardson. That's right. Yes. So, um, and thank you for those who are sharing. And you guys uh, share this. That's great. Hi, Holly, Cindy Carroll. And the prize for next week. And let's see, this week let's make it for sharing. Because we really do love to have you share. Um, this is going to be the happiest of days. I think this is really a fun set. You know, these are all uh, discontinued sets that are just really lovely, totally new of course, but I think this is a really fun set. So um, this will be next week's thing. And thanks all you guys who are welcome, who are wishing us a great trip. It's wonderful. Well, let's get to the mail. Can we, <laughs> I said I can we talk start. two things? Uh -huh. The second half of the trip is a cruise with Stampin' Stampin Up. up. Mm -hmm. The first half, half of the trip is a, um, pilgrimage for me to Seattle to see the, the home of Starbucks <laughs> because tomorrow is my last <clears throat> so while he's retiring my last day at Starbucks <laughs> at this time tomorrow I will be so that, that's on our agenda so we will, will enjoy a few days in Seattle yes. I'm having coffee with Howard Schultz yeah oh, right <laughs> no and if he tells you a story about that yeah. you'll, you'll really know leave. so <laughs> thanks yes the humidity can lead you so oh anyway I got this gift from Brenda Ryan, and that is so exciting. I haven't even opened it. I just it's peeked inside and saw, well, that's fabric. That is a gift. Oh, my oh goodness. Oh, my goodness. Is that? Is I, oh, look at this. Oh, my goodness. Brenda, and I'm, I'm thinking this fits the Stamparatus. Am I right? <gasps> that is fabulous. Oh, Tim, you had a birthday card from her, too. Oh, and... <laughs> This came a while ago. I honestly set it aside thinking it was a pack of paper. Oh, is that darling. I love this. Here is another great card. We did um, the scrap cards. We did all circles and squares. How cute is this idea with the squares? We didn't even do that one. I thought that is just fabulous. Love it. That is great. And I um, and there's a lovely note in it, but I won't read it now. So. That is wonderful. A clutch. That will be your clutch. And you know, trip. she knows I'm a quilter too, so I love quilt patterns. And I will say this. She said, this design is from the quilt pattern card trick. Oh, does that fit? Card trick for our doing cards? Oh, perfect. Thank you, Brenda. I'm sure she has wondered if I ever got it. That <laughs> is absolutely amazing. Yes, she did. Oh, she just didn't know what very the, fun. the treasure that she oh. had. She didn't realize what it was. Okay, so Tim... Yes. Can come. Come we have one thing to both of us from Kimberly 
Scotchfield. I, I always want to put an R in there, but it's Scotchfield. Oh, oh, is that fun. And Fourth of July colors. I love that. That is she so is, cute. She's from it's a Fourth of July card. Louisville, <laughs> Louisville, Kentucky. Oh, that is just a fabulous use of those chairs in a red, white, and blue card. Fabulous. Thank you. I'll set these aside for... That is very nice. Okay. And it is a 4th of July card. Yes, it is. Do I get one now? Yes, now you can open yours. Tim Titus, bone <laughs> folder with stains on the bottom. Well used, well loved. Well used, yes. Hmm. Whoops. And little Br Brad's on the bottom. <laughs> oh, <great>. Tim's fixing. <laughs> Yes. Oh, I love it. <laughs> yes, as if. Oh my goodness, there's more inside. Isn't that great? Wait till you see the inside. This is from Brenda, who gave Karen. Gave me the gift. I said, Brenda, this is absolutely amazing. Look at this. How fun, how fun is so that? So, this is an apron. <laughs> You're going to have an amazing birthday party. with That is a fortune cookie. And delicious dish. You're great. Happy birthday. Oh, great card. Oh, that is fun. wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> oh, Debbie says it's 74 right now in Seattle. We cannot wait for that. Sounds wonderful. <laughs> and Tim's fixing. All right. Thank you, Brenda. <laughs> okay, another one. And we are um, staying at an Airbnb in Kirkland, and we're happy to meet um, anyone for coffee or anything, if we have any friends, customers, anyone there. It's all good. And Kirkland looks like a nice little town. Yeah, we aren't going to vehicle, but we'll be doing public transportation, so it's all good. Tina Webster from New York. Happy anniversary, oh. happy Father's Day, happy birthday. I love that paper. It's not stamping out, but I love that paper. Is that just awesome? And, it's and it totally fits. Oh, oh, yeah, it is. It is. It's total, totally awesome. It's totally awesome. I mean, T-O-A-D. Totally awesome. And a nice little note from Tina. Thank you. I will read that. And she said, ta-ta for now. I love it. Somebody said they were... Oh, oh okay. my goodness. Oh, my goodness. We're back to this. <laughs> okay. This is too... Brenda. Okay. This is a little over the top. Brenda, you better be on... You, you better be on this, or we yes. better send you a message to come look, look at, at that inside. <laughs> More. You light up. You light up. I think you're brilliant. Our chats with Karen. You light up our chats with Karen. <laughs> oh, that is fabulous. That is so... Renee, thank you. Renee put a note on here. I think that was supposed to be a triple panel card and a recipe. What's the recipe for? Oh, my goodness. Classic beef stew. Oh, oh. Tim will that do it. That is wonderful. And we will... We will tell you we what we think. Eat it during, that is fabulous. We'll eat it during our show in August. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you for, for okay. drawing your attention to the. Oh, thanks, Renee. Yes, for that's that. how okay. much I know about cards. <laughs> okay, Heather Rasmussen. Oh, look at this! Oh, fun! Handmade and by Heather Rasmussen. Heather Sue, at least it's Heather H. Um, have a real jazzy birthday. That is That's so great. nice. Apologizing for being late, but that oh, is fine. Fabulous. Love that little jazz player. That's awesome. And I love Dixieland. That's kind of what yeah. that looks like. Thank you. Oh, you know, and we are going to New Orleans in September, so. Yes. We'll, see. we'll just oh be goodness. prepared. I got more. <laughs> and one oh, more. Oh, my goodness. goodness. This is the good one. This is Maggie the... Oh, well, let's Maggie, see. Maggie Confetti. It is Maggie Confetti. So this is going to dump Maggie. out the confetti. So <laughs> Maggie Confetti X. Maggie, okay. Don't disappoint me, Maggie. All right, yes. <laughs> Happy oh, birthday, that is great. stars. Thank you, Maggie. <laughs> and it's belated, as she said. Sorry that I'm so late. That is fine, Maggie. Okay, I love it. okay. <laughs> and she used a little piece of foam, foamish stuff to. Oh. Those are some great cards and an yes. awesome gift. I said, what a fun, special day. Oh, it I mean, is. It's kind of like the birthday that's just okay. never ended. Okay. We're going to move on? You, you, can, you can get up now. So now that you more of you have joined us, and thanks, you guys, that have been sharing. Remember, this is the winning thing for next time. And I just want to mention that 
this month, there's going to be a, a, something you can only order in August as a customer. Although, if you're a demonstrator, you can order it this month. And you can also get it in your starter kit. So if you're thinking about it and don't know what to do, and I will put a post about it. I won't have time. It is a gorgeous set. And we have new watercolor pencils. I'm going to be using one of the dies from in here. There are, of course, die cuts with it. Uh, I just don't think I'm be able to play with this and do Facebook Live till we come back from our cruise. I want to limit what I'm bringing. So I just wanted to let you know that. So and I have something else to say. You believe that or not? Um, <laughs> Saturday, Karen and I went to a stamp extravaganza or some sort of a... Something we used to have a booth at. Rubber yes, stamp event. Rubber stamp event. Uh -huh. And... <laughs> It was just the weirdest thing because people recognize this from, from television, from Facebook Live. Made his day. Made my day. I was wearing, <laughs> I was wearing a bright orange shirt and my orange Crocs. Because he wanted to be noticed. Yes, and I wanted to be noticed. <laughs> my white hair. And it worked. So it was fun. I was walking out to the car to get a catalog for one of Karen's customers, and this woman just stopped me and she said, I know you. I know you. <laughs> anyway, it was a fun day. Okay, okay, so, okay. 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 I love, I love our fame and fortune. <laughs> Barbara, you are welcome for the birthday card. And um, I think she maybe got birthday card from somebody else for cards. Okay, that's great. Because then our Karen Tim loves, is on a roll today. Karen loves the fame and just, fortune too. I could just give she it loves up it, now. She loves it. But she's not so <laughs> obvious about it. So, In our customer group. People have been sending birthday cards to each other. And I said, it's just so fun. And then they post what they get. So it is absolutely fabulous. But we had, Linda, I'm glad you're online. So I said, oh, this is a really a fun way to start off. So are we going to do anything but talk today? <laughs> Tim isn't going to let the show go on. Yes, so. we are. <laughs> oh, Pauline, you're a little warmer than Seattle, but you're in eastern Washington. So yeah, well, I just, we are really excited. But you know, you know how long the list is before you leave, but especially because I have to bring for Facebook Live. I have a few more swaps to do, but it'll be good. So this is the stamp set. Oh, you can bring it down, Tim. Okay. This is the stamp set that we are working with today. I love the stamp set. And it is also the thinlets from here are what the card kit that you get for this month. If you place a $50 order in my online store, you always get a card kit. And it has to do with this set. It is three cards that you assemble, and they just use the thinlets, and then a completed card. So what we're gonna be doing today is a variety of other things. So even if, and, and whenever I send out card kits, you don't need to own that stamp set. You know, it's for a $50 order for anything because the cards you can always put together. And if you already have this, you can get something else. So I just wanted to put that in. But we're gonna do some fun things with this stamp set. And I'm gonna do something fun with it too. 68 in Menominee, seriously? Wisconsin? Is there a cold front? Coming through? It's 90. Oh, my goodness. 90-something. Lois thinks we could have a full show with just Tim. Well, the way he's taking it over, it might just become Tim's show. So. <laughs> Thank you for that vote. Okay, I'm going to use Shaded Spruce today, one of the new lovely colors. So we're going to do a bunch of techniques. And, of course, this one is just a super simple. This is taking the already cards that we have sometimes... You just need a really quick card. And this is a single layer. We'll see if I can get this on straight because I am not using, I'm going to be using the uh, Big Shot today. So I, okay, so there's that. And then I'm going to take the tree. Did you want me to go get the Big Shot? No, it's here. Oh, it's I am here. ready. And I'm going to stamp once, twice, three times without re-inking. Always love showing this because it is just such a, like um, a fun card. The... And then I am, of course, going to put a little tree right there. And I'll have Tim, my assistant, take away tray number one. So we yeah, have to start just super simple. Off. No, you may just set them aside. I wash them off. I want to wash them off. Oh, you can do whatever you want. Okay. So, um, I always want you to remember that because I'm just lots of cards. Oh, by the way, on this last Monday, I shared a whole bunch of really pretty cards with this stamp set. 
So if you missed that, you might want to go back and watch that. And I always tell people, take screenshots if there's something that you like to remember. But you, we saw this technique used a lot. And I was talking about the different techniques used on some of the cards. And I said, so we'll do a technique day and I'll share um, a bunch of these. Because you might, in case you don't. So, okay. It, oh, yeah, it's going to feel like over 100 here. It's going to hit 91 and it's just been really... So now we're going to do several things with this tree. So first I'm just going to share that you can always, of course, just stamp plain. I just have scratch paper out because I'm going to show and then I'm going to show a finished, um, uh, a finished one here. So for this... Finish are people from Finland, is that what you mean? Yes. So for one of these, to finish this off... I did, and I haven't finished this off, so I'm thinking this is going to work. I am going to. Uh, and if it doesn't, you'll pretend that it does. Yeah. Then we'll just say, well, in my mind, sometimes things work better. Now, if you notice, I am taping with my snail, but I'm doing it on a silicone mat because anything extra will just stay right there. And not, so I don't have to worry about tape getting on. Um, you know, if you get a little tape on there and then your paper sticks. So, <laughs> Renee says, here goes my wish list again. Oh, hubby, I love you, honey. <laughs> That's great. Okay, I'm just going to put this on crooked. And then I already cut out with the dies one of these done plain. Oh, let's take this one. Because what I was going to do with this one, so here's another little technique. Anytime you want to kind of round something, I thought, let's just make this tree look, look a little fuller. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to put the full big ones. Uh, yeah, I've got big ones here. Now, if I want it to be even fuller, let's see how full that one. Uh, it's probably enough for this. I just want it to get a little. Uh, you know what? Let's just so I accent what I'm showing. Let's do two, okay? Because this will be really rounded. Because then um, you won't think, what in the world was that? <laughs> Nancy says she's watching, and she'll have to listen later. Whoa, she must be at work or something. I think that is just hilarious. Okay, I'm going to make this, you know, so it's... So how fun is that? Do you see how that just kind of drapes around? So it's just kind of an interesting little idea. And then I have this. This stamp set has great sayings in it. This is one, to thank you for all you do. And there's another one I love that is... Um, and Words you, are never enough. You can see I I, you do I didn't like the back. You do. You do. And then finish that sentence. See, and isn't that slick with the silicone mat? So I'm just going to put this in here. So another really simple, basic card. So how fun is that? Okay, so we have that one. And now I could take this same one, cut out, and I... Ran out of time to finish this one, so I'll have to finish this one. But here I have it again, just stamped. I'm gonna take two greens, so I have my lightest one, pear pizzazz, because I can just color it. So I'm gonna kind of go all through, and nothing about this needs to be perfect. So I'm gonna show several different ways of coloring here, and you know you can change up colors on any of these and make it different, and then, I'm going to go in some parts and, you know, oh, okay, and and uh, add some little darker colors. So I'm just going to go for a little varied look in there. And this will lighten a little bit as it goes through time. And I will finish this as a card. Okay, just okay. But, uh, see, I just can never decide, you know? Do you ever have trouble deciding when you're done and then you do too much? <laughs> That's what I do. Okay, so this is going to be a card that I will put on something. So one way of coloring. Now let's look at um, some other ways of coloring. This is one that I think is very fun. I'm going to take this. I'm going to take some markers, 
And let's see, I need another piece of scratch paper. Karen, you had your alarm set for this? Oh my goodness. <laughs> How fun is that? Okay, so for this one, I'm, I'm using crushed curry because I want, oh, here, I better clean this off though. That's not gonna do too well, is it? Should do this right away. Could've could said, be a little wet, but it's okay. You could have said Tim did. I could have said Tim, this is the one that needs washing. Forget the others. So I'm doing my lightest color on the background because I just want there to be anything that misses a color, I just want there to be some form to it. And I want a brown trunk, so I'm using early espresso and I am just doing that right across there. And I didn't twist this, so do you see if I have any extra color? On this color, it's not gonna matter. I can just clean it right off right there. Are you gonna use that piece of paper? I am, oh, okay. but I'll be cutting off. Okay, now, and I took some different ones than on the sample, but this is a throwback technique. Let's see how many of you have done this. So remember this, it's called thumping. Oh, but <laughs> I need a tree to thump on. <laughs> okay, so there's my tree. Oh, isn't that just fabulous? That is. <laughs> I think it maybe should just stay like that. <laughs> no, I don't think so. You want me to go get your sample? All out? right. I <laughs> Was wrong yes. you guys that know thumping I need to thump on my stamp I need to get a much prettier look than that so we're gonna pretend this is a rewind thumper see look how fast this is the second time because yes. I, I know you just didn't catch that all <laughs> Paulina sweeping and mopping while watching and listening okay that's a good way and here I usually start with my lightest color I don't know that it matters but you see what I am just holding it at this end She's and I am just thumping, and I'm going to turn this around because I don't want all my hash marks to be going the same way. So it's just da da da. I can do as much as I want. She was a drummer in her former life. <laughs> Maybe I'm just a wannabe, you know. Just you know. Okay, now these colors you're going to see more. Do you see how this is making the the thumping marks all over? So you can guess I'm. I'm looking at fall. A day like today makes me think about fall. I'm not ready for summer to go. I just want the nice part of summer. But we're always kind of thinking ahead. And fall is my favorite season. Okay, so there I have garden green. And now I'm going to do some rich razzleberry. It'll be fun to see what this actually turns out like. Oh, this is a technique Tim hasn't seen yet. So let's see. Let me know if any of the rest of you have not done this. I think it's all oh, as many years ago that I was doing this. So I said, and sometimes we forget about techniques and they're always just kind of fun to revisit. By the time she finishes that, the original colors will all be dry and won't transfer. Ah, but Tim, we have a fix for that. Oh, and then did. I have Berry Burst, I believe, which is probably very similar. I better look and see if that, yep, yeah, Berry Burst. Uh, it's probably a little similar to the Rich Rousel Berry on here, but that's okay. That's what I was thinking. So I won't do so much of that. I'm gonna go back and add a little pumpkin. Oh, Marty said, and this is this is just a fun one because you never totally know what it's gonna turn out like. And now this is my lightest color. So I am to just show you because I thought I wanted to show you. See, there's a, see how there's a little bit of green right there, but it took it right off, and so now this is clean and ready to go again. Now it'll be nah. voila, good. And it won't matter if I even answered the phone because I'm just going to huff on this. We used to say that word a lot until it got associated with drug use. <laughs> but I'm going to huff on my stamp and every time this is going to turn out differently. Oh, I'm thrilled. Barbara said she's been making cards for 20 years and hasn't ever seen that. Whoa. Look at my stunning autumn card. Is that fun? So... This is a perfect stamp to do that on. And um, the leaves, too, because I think it is just pretty fun. Now, here's the one I already cut out and used. Um, okay, so now to turn this into a card, I'm so going to take... Cat, oh, no, it's the oh. big shot. <laughs> These are the dies that go with it. So I'm going to use a basic Z fold where I have folded in half, and then this goes in half over it. And I'm going to use from the same 
Nature's Poem. I mean, that side's not going to go, but this side's going to look lovely. And remember, all these designer series paper, there's a whole bunch of them that are on sale this month. Buy three and get your fourth free. So you definitely want to check that out. I certainly bought some. Okay, so here is my Z fold. And you'll notice I haven't done these cards. I just, in my mind, decided, oh, I think this would work. And uh, <laughs> so, so here's my secret. I plan, I plan my Facebook Lives on Thursday um, because I know if I plan them earlier, Holly keeps trying to get me to plan things earlier. So I, I'll plan the subject earlier. But you know how time just fills whatever time you give it? So if I start working on Monday, I think I'd spend all week working on Facebook Live. So, <laughs> okay, so where would I like to put this? I'm going to put it down here. <laughs> okay, um, uh, Tim is lobbying heavily for saying that he should be the one doing this because I'm not having any luck today. Look at these glue, these glue dots are not picking up. Okay, can that be the humidity? Somebody give me a reason. I will press much harder. Glue dots. <laughs> Voila, that did not <laughs> work. <laughs> glue dots were glued down by other glue dots. Yes, they were a okay. nice stronghold. Let's try again. I think I'm gonna put it right up. I'm gonna put it right about there. Now, if I were making a few of these cards, which is usually how I make cards, I put it different places and see what I like. And now, what I'm thinking inside would be fun to do would be to to do this in a really light, you know, stamped off in in a crumb crumb cake or, or soft suede, and put it right under here. Wouldn't that be fun? And then you could put your words right over that. Mm -hmm. Ooh, so I might think about adding this. So see, I just sort of talk and try ideas as we go along. But what a fun and easy card okay I, I agree okay and then we're gonna go to another way of coloring and then oh you know Tim I might just have you go last today really? I've never had him go last let's do it let's yes, do it I okay can, I can fill up anytime then he can fill up <laughs> that's right <laughs> I was just thinking usually there's a flow because there's some reason you know to put him okay but here's gonna be my next one so this time, whoa, I'm getting all, oh, you guys, I know what I'll have Tim do. I'll have him put this back together and see if he can do it. Okay, oh, I just did it. <laughs> they're always so hard. I think you always feel like you're going to break the, okay. So here I'm doing the same thing again. And I'm going to, I'm not going to do it twice. <laughs> I'm going to clean off the, the trunk. Now this time I'm going to take sponge daubers, Ooh. and I'm going to use two colors that are similar. This is going to be a full bloom autumn thing, so I'm going to start with Cajun Craze, and I'm going to just daub, and I'm just going to add some color here. Now, if I get some of this on, it is a lighter color, so I don't really worry about my ink pad. I can always re-ink it, but for this, it might be a good idea to stick more in the you know, like in the corners, okay? In the corners of the stamp pad where you don't, you know, hit it often so much, okay? I so the corner of the trees. <laughs> that, well, maybe. I'm gonna give you that, and then I'm going to do, if people don't have sound, it should be on your end because plenty of people do have sound. So it's just kind of interesting. Yeah. I don't know yeah, how things work. I can hear work. him just fine, Karen. <laughs> and Tim can hear me, so he knows it's working. <laughs> okay, so see, I'll just add a little more of this in here. So again, this is going to be, however it turns out, it's going to be fine. Can I hold the finish tree closer to the camera when you're done? Oh, yes, I can do that. Um, Thank you. It's always hard to know. Maybe no, it doesn't go down any further. So oh, it doesn't go down any further. Okay, so I will. I so makes, makes again, sense. I'm going to huff again, and we're going to see what this autumn tree looks like. And then I'll hold both of these. Beautiful. And look how fun this is. Okay, so here are the two different techniques up close, and I think they're Pull both back towards you, though. There okay, is that good? I think they're both just really fun. Tim will take photos of these cards today, and um, I'm going to try to get them on, you know, up tomorrow or Saturday. So we'll, um, 
So anyway, so just fun ways to color this. Now I'll show you in a minute what I've done with this because here is, here is my finished one. And I love how there's just that little bit of crushed curry. You know, there could even be more, but I think that almost looks like sun kind of streaking through. And you know, so, so I think these are just um, fun ways to do it. Now I'm going to do, oh, actually, Tim, do you want to do, you want to do yours now? Or do you want to wait and go last? I can do it now. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm actually quite eager to do it. Oh, okay. So was... Okay. So <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll put Tim up next. Yes, that's a good idea. <laughs> and then I'm going to show you something cool with the big shot. Do you want to stay? Yes. But mine's going to be cool, too. Yes, it is cool. Yes. So you want me to talk to my friends or... You know, Tim, you have already talked so much without your face on. I guess we will show your face. I didn't know why you didn't wait to tell the story, you know, and okay. he had full attention. Karen and I on Saturday. No. <laughs> yeah, are you told the story? I already told it. <laughs> okay, what is this called, Karen? Rock and roll. Rock and roll. Okay, I've got another name for it. Bad technique turned into a beautiful card because rock and roll is actually bad technique. We're told over and over, don't do this, but we're going to do it anyway. Do you know what I'm talking about? No. Rocking and rolling. You don't want to get it on the edges. Oh! Oh, yes! Okay. Yes! There are times yes. people, yes, if yes. you rock your stamp on the ink pad, then you yes. get those edges. Yes. So, oh, yes. so true. And so, but it's going to be a good technique. It's really going to produce a beautiful card. Okay? Does anyone know where these came from? These are Starbucks trays from the holidays and they would get use them for one season and then get rid of them i brought them all all so home there are project many trays. many years ago and karen still uses them yeah they are nice okay we're gonna rock and roll with this and we're gonna rock and roll with the leaf we're gonna do the lightest color first no which, which is pear pear pizzazz pear pizzazz and that is a straight up and down, straight shot. Okay, we had to, I gotta show you guys what I'm doing by turning it upside down. <laughs> yeah. One, two, three, straight up and down. Would you like me to open the next one? Yeah, this would is, you? No, not yet. You don't stamp yet. Garden green. Oh, now. Now you this get is the rock bad, and roll. This is the bad <laughs> technique. You're gonna. So put the darker one on the outside. Look at that, bad technique, but it's gonna turn into a beautiful card. Okay, now hold it up so you can see. I well, think you got a little bit too much too dark much, on. Do a little too less. Too much dark. Okay, we're gonna do it again. It. Just to prove it. Yeah, I got old. Less is more, some and, is and another common saying. And know? it's the light one first. Mm -hmm. And only the bare edges. Okay. Still bad. Okay, someday I'm gonna get this. Okay, you're gonna get another try. Okay. <laughs> then I'm gonna run out of room. And when I talk about rocky rolling, we're talking barely the edge. Barely. Okay. Although that looks good. I mean, you can't yeah. go wrong with this. There's nothing you just wrong don't with it. Really, know he did a technique. The wait, 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 wait. What oh, do you mean wait? Nothing. What do you we're, mean we're wait? That one just might work. Well. A little bit. You can see a little bit. It's getting better. Um, do you want me to try one? Yeah. Or will that just... Ah, you... <laughs> yeah, why don't you do it the correct way? Yeah, you show them how okay. to do it. Okay. <laughs> See, I, okay, I never practice. She just he never me. practices. No. I just want to make sure. See, I can do it really, really oh, light. Oh, my goodness. Will I mess it up? Do you want them all going the same way? Yeah. I think we have a pattern here. <gasps> oh. oh, that is oh, beautiful. Now do you want to try it again? Yeah. Oh, this is the first time Tim has accepted my help. I want you guys to know that. Oh, so gentle and so good. Beautiful. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Thank you for your help, my dear. Okay, isn't that nice? Instead of three, we got five, but that's okay. That is okay. That is okay. Now we're gonna, we're gonna attach these. We're gonna use a little snail, and we have dirty stuff all over this, but that's okay. Oh, people like it. They're just being nice. Now, 
Now, can you imagine this being turned around? No, I, I, I'll do it. I'll do it your Sure, way. okay. So, see you know, I, some people might not be able to imagine that it's... Oh, a cardi can pound. Whoa. And I just knocked our little iPad over. Okay, here we go. Here we go. What do you think? Cool. Isn't that nice? It looks very nice. Hold and it, it up says, close. you are wonderful. Isn't that nice? Okay, we're having problems here with our... All right. With my pounding, my pounding has consequences, <laughs> but I, I do like it because it's kind of a guy thing. <laughs> okay, I think I'm done. That was pretty quick. Yeah, so these are a lot of techniques in a short time, but I think it's just kind of fun to look at this and all the things you can do with one thing. Okay, now, a couple more here to go. I will... Okay. I'm not even sure which ones to show next. Okay, I'm gonna show a few things here. Okay, this, these are more from these kits. This is an interesting, these are interesting dies because they have an inside, like an inside and an outside. So you run the inside through first. I think it's easier to do it first. And then I, you can see I use a little tape and put them on and then run them through to actually cut out the flowers. So that's how the flowers leaves. So that's how these are cut out. This is how it looks first. And so I just use those first ones as a background. So instead of cutting these out, and these are actually done, they're a little deeper and I'm gonna show you how this was done in a minute too, but first I was just gonna put this on. So I'm going to take, let's see, either side would work, but I'm going to do this one. And I'll take the snail. I thought you were going to do that one, but I'm going to do the other one. Yeah, I'll switch. Thanks, Lori, she says we make a great team. I said we really are having fun doing this together. Is that it? Yes, it is. And you know, Tim is leaving Starbucks just to work for me, so. Yes. <laughs> so that will be interesting to see how that Either goes. a good decision or not. Yep. But look how pretty that is, just as a background. And I could just put words there. Oh, I got a little smudge. But I am going to put my, she did my tree on there. So I'm going to take this and pop it up. She did the smudge just to let me know that I'm not the only one. Yes, <laughs> yes that's right. And I... Uh, not for the trunk. I part. always say a lot of layered cards didn't start that way. You know, if you make a mistake, then you... Uh, yeah, Tim is asking about the trunk. I really should. I should put a little one on the trunk. I think just so. so it's not, you know, Could get torn unrooted. <laughs> okay. I'll make sure I pop that up. But, you know, just kind of a fun background that you can do. Very nice. Can do with that. So my last card, I'm going to show that, but I have one more to show. Now that I've cut these out... I'm going to watercolor them. These are actually gorgeous. You could sponge these. You could do these in different colors. You could, but sponging would be a great technique. And so would um, the, what are those powder bursts? Ooh, what's that called? That, you know, that fun thing that does the burst of flowers. They would be awesome with this. But what I'm gonna use is I'm going to watercolor them. And I, can I haven't done this either. I'm just going to do a couple of them. Can I just say something? Mm -hmm. I went to wash my hands. Look at my palms. They're red from pounding. <laughs> I guess you're not supposed Can't to. Can't take much you're not anymore, huh? To pound them when they're, dry, when they're not dry. <laughs> okay, so let's. See. Oh, here's my. Here is my. Oh, brush show. Yes, that's right. And Tim showed us up close, right? So. My favorite way to watercolor is with the watercolor pen, and I are the. Uh, oh, they say words are the first to go, you guys. This is um, terribly embarrassing. Aqua painters. It just takes me a moment. Tech if I put water on the back side. Technique is the second thing that will go. 
<laughs> I know. <laughs> and memory to remember what you know. But um, I like to put a little on the back side because then this will lay flatter. And then I'm going to get the front wet too. And I'm going to just put in, I'm just going to take a couple of dabs of different color here. I'm just going to do, I'll just do three here. As they say with Brill Cream, a dab will do little dab will do ya. Okay, so here are going to be my three colors. <laughs> you guys are good at filling in the words, so that's great. I, I might have to um, write out a script and then I'd be reading. That would be, that'd be pretty sad. <laughs> Okay, so, and I want these pretty light, so Whoa. see, I'm just gonna really jumps. put a little uh, yellow in there. I'll treat this however I want. And then I just squeeze this to get another color. And I'm totally happy if these blend. So now I'm just gonna put in some of this. I don't think that she had much of a choice. <laughs> but it's just kind of fun, because they'll blend whichever way they want to go. And then I will do some green because these leaves were originally green. And you know, I might want a little more green, so I'll just put a little more in there. But you know, you can just play with these kind of, kind of however you want. And I'm going to have to, um, if I think that's too much, this is what I'll do. Oh. I just do that. And then look, wow. it's like starting over. How cool is that? That changes it all together. Yeah, it totally changes. It makes it much, much lighter. So I'll see, we'll have one of each way here. I think he was telling me to get the tip in there, so nope. I did. And oh. Oh. yes, and you probably okay. think that my enthusiasm is like put on you know, like for the show, but, <laughs> but it really, it's not. I said he isn't. hasn't seen these things, so um, so I'm gonna let these dry and turn this into something. Right. I'm not sure what, but isn't that just a fun way to play with these? Now on this one, I am using. Let's see, is this watercolor paper or? Yeah, this is watercolor paper. You can also use, maybe this is a different one. Pull you can middle, also use the shimmery. To closer to you. Closer to me. There you okay. go. Oh, oh gotta, get, gotta get it right. So yeah, and so you, you can blot, you can do whatever you want with these. It's just kind of a fun. And the blotting is also great if you ever get too much on, then you can just lighten it right away and keep going. So we'll see what these turn out to be. And then I have one more. There's gonna so be, fun. in the future, Rorschach, Rorschach <laughs> stamping. Yes. So the way I did, let's see if this shows here. The way I did the background of the card, let me look for which card, this one. This is actually a deeper crease than the original. So I did it this way, but you don't need to. Now this is the way to make every die cut an embossing folder. And she means every. I do mean every, uh, but it would help if I had more dies here. Okay, okay, <laughs> here we go. So for this, I'm using the basic Big Shot platform and a plate. And then I'm using the two new, these two new little rubber things. You can use these together separately. Find whatever, your machine might be a little different because, you know, if they can loosen up over time. So you just find whatever's right for you. For me, I put on the gray and the blue. And now I'll put my paper on and look at this die. Now this would typically cut and it cuts out stitched lines. This is really awesome. And there are three sizes of this in the new kit that you can order for August or now if you buy, if you're a demonstrator or buy the kit. But isn't that cool? And they do stitching on them both. So anyway, I'll just show it to you. So I'm not cutting it through. I'm going to just use it as a, like a frame. So I'm going to take this now and run it through. And so now this is what I did with the leaves. You could do this with any of your dies. And how cool is this? You got that side, you've got that side. I think this is just a fun card. And I'm gonna try something with this. And again, it's just an idea. I don't know if it'll work. Now just for the fun of it, she's gonna fussy cut that out. Yeah, I got <laughs> um, uh, Yeah, but the, okay, so I'll show the, after the other thing. So when you put this on a plate, then it's your paper. 
and then it's the die, the cutting side down. But the thing that's cool is, so it's gonna leave all the marks, but it's not going to have enough pressure to go all the way through because this um, absorbs the pressure, so it won't cut through. I think, is that just fun? And these are, oh, could somebody look up in the catalog and, and um, share what page these are on? I know it's toward the back and they're, um, they're new. And I love these, I'll be using these a lot. So you'll see a lot being done with this. Towards the back is narrowing it down. Yeah, <laughs> towards the back narrows it down a lot. But yeah. Okay, these? but how cool is that? Yes, uh, although actually just set it somewhere because I think I should paint the rest of them. Now, what I was thinking would be fun, so here's my idea. I was gonna just pop up, I have one more plain tree, and I was thinking it'd be fun if this kind of was like blue sky. I don't know if I can keep it from kind of going in down there or not, but I thought, why not try? At least you'll see my idea. And otherwise, I will um, just pretend next time. Now, of course, I'm gonna get the back a little wet to just help it stay flat. So I'm gonna put it on there so I can protect my table. Is there a scientific reason why that works? I must loosen the fibers on both ends. I, I find it really helps because um, sometimes I've even taped uh, with temporary tape my thing down, but I, I didn't do that today. And I wanna do a really light water wash on this because if it doesn't turn out, I'm just gonna <laughs> watercolor the whole thing. <laughs> oh, perfect. Okay. Okay, so see, then I can just kind of go around. I don't want to go too close to the edges because what I'm, why I'm wanting this kind of um, flat is I thought if it got, oh, see, I went down a little there, but that's okay. If I thought if I got it a little, um, if it started, you know, bowing in, then it might just kind of drip off the side or something. I don't know if that, if that makes any sense at all, nope. but it does to me. And of course, if one side, one uh, top or the bottom turns out better, you just know where to put the tree, you know, so it's all okay. Okay, isn't that a fun thing? So I could just do a whole scene in here. This could be a little... Anyway, I like that. Okay, so again, this is a card you're going to want to see finished. I Because it's going to have to dry. But... I think this will be really fun. It just, it just makes a whole different background technique look. So um, so this was a whole bunch of things that we shared today. So yeah, you might want to uh, uh, being a go color, back and watch and I will list the things. But I think that's gonna be really pretty. Being so a we'll color, see. Colorblind person that does not look like blue. blue? Well, it's pool party, so it's really a blue green. Okay, yeah. Uh, so, okay, you can bring this back, back up. So. I just want to thank you guys for, for being with here today. And I, I think this must be eight techniques, so whatever. I'll, I'll figure it out and make a list. Can for I sit down? Thing. But yes, you may sit down. A couple of reminders. Reba Richardson, give me, message me your address. And this is the stamp set that we're giving away next week. So you have a whole week to be in that. And... Um, we are going to, after cruise, we're gonna probably do more evening ones because we really had a lot of requests for that or maybe alternating, but you know, but we'll wait till that's done. Can I think, of, thanks for the amazing cards and beautiful gifts today. Is there anything else? Thank you for sharing. And just remember the Designer Series paper on sale. And if you would like to join and weren't sure what you would get, here's another gorgeous option to get this new thing right now, get it this month. So. Always let me know if you have any questions about that because we would love to have you. I'm putting together little gift packages to send out to you guys that join, so thanks. And someday I'm going to teach a whole class on how to take a bad technique and turn it into a beautiful card. I think he's just waiting until I have a sick day and then he just gets to run the show. So. Yes. <laughs> oh, thanks you guys. We, we appreciate it. You win a stamp set this week by sharing. Some weeks it's just commenting, some weeks it's sharing the video. So we kind of alternate and go back and forth because um, sharing our video helps us more than you can um, imagine. Well, you probably can't imagine because it just gets the word out there. And um, 
you know, and we just really appreciate you guys. And we're, we're having a wonderful time in my current online class because we always have that too. And when you have the code, they're only $15 a month for three whole sessions where we stamp together. So What's it called again? Always like, this one's called Quick Cuts Cards because I couldn't think of a better name. People gave me some names afterwards, but it was already done. But it's really been fun to see what people do. So thanks, you guys. Thanks for being in our life and and watching us and just being in our community. Someday Let me know we, any questions. Someday we should give a prize to the person with the best name for your class. Yeah, there we go. That would mean I'd probably have to plan ahead. Yes. But I'm working on that. I'm working on that. So, okay. <laughs> Thanks, guys. This has been fun. And, and we're going to see you in Seattle. See you in Monday. And we will be broadcasting live from Seattle. And it'll be fun. Yes. Two weeks of vacation. Yay. Yes. Okay. I'm going to go turn it off. Bye. Bye. Keep talking. <laughs> Leave some comments. Takes me a while to get around our maze. But you know he'll keep talking, so it, it's, yes. all, it's all okay. Thanks, everyone. Have a wonderful weekend. All the people and thank sharing. you all the people sharing. That is so wonderful. That's oh, wonderful. thanks, you guys. We um, uh, appreciate. Oh, Lois has her friends. And... She and her friends have lunch on the days we're on and watch together. Oh, fun. Well, hi. Welcome. So I will get these cards done. Tim will take the picture, and then I will put them up on my blog so you can see them more closely. Now, Thanks. figure out a way for me to cook the lunch for you. Yeah, that's right. Yes, that's right. That would be. That's, well, but he is going to make that beef stew, and maybe yes. we'll be eating lunch sometime. Yes. When, when, uh, you know, when you're watching us. But bye. Talk to you all later. Bye.